What's up guys, this is the boy Jason right here, and today I'm coming at you guys with um a little pan and crop system, I guess. Automate 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 What's up guys? This is the boy Jason. What's up guys? This is the boy Jason right here, and today I'm coming at you guys with a little handy pan crop setup. It's like a automated system that I've came up with and it's pretty handy, especially for those guys out there of you which are lazy or just want to speed up your workflow um basically what it's going to do it's going to put your wiggle or your shake um at the same time of your pumps and it's going to do it automatically for you only thing you need to care of is one value and that's it and uh yeah you should have a little bit of maths knowledge so uh yeah, let's uh, let's actually go right into it. So you could of course uh, right click down here, blah blah blah. But I prefer shortcuts, and we're gonna hold down Control Alt Y, and then we are going to call this maybe PC setup for pan crop. Then I'm gonna you're going to put um, a trans you're gonna put a transform effect on there, maybe a slider control. You don't have to, but I definitely actually yeah you have to i recommend it and you have to so and some shake i'll uh i'll put the shake off for a second because i've noticed that my after effects crashes often when it's just enabled and out there somehow so first of all what i want to do is i want to link some values so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drop down all of this in the uh i think this is the composition panel it should be i don't even know so what you're going to do is um alt click this stopwatch next to the scale for expression pick pick the pick whip and link it to your slider then type in plus 100 and we're good now it has nothing changed but what we can now do is on the slider control which i'll just call pump um Oh, if the caps lock on. We can start, you know, you know, like MLG editing. That's what we can do. So, um, next thing we're going to do is take this amplitude, should be down here as well. Take the amplitude, take the pip whip, pick whip, and align it to your slider. And then what you're going to type in, oops, is times. 0.05 now this depends obviously but i'm just going to show you if i take a screen pump in the uh, value of four for example this is going to scale up by four and then our wiggle will be at an amplitude of 0.2 and then the rest of course is dependent of from your frequency and the rest of your settings which i don't know you know can be manipulated down here um and that's it then uh, tilt i'll put more on the wave actually just a bit on the random and we're good now i've marked this already of course so what i'm just quickly going to do is work on the keyframes the lazy way for this so zero i'm gonna take four actually let's take five why not and we good and then i'll have this ram preview for you guys and yeah if you actually if i could help you out with this of course that'd be dope or just let me know some how anything else yeah if you want to see more tutorials like these please hit me up in the uh, comment section down below i usually don't do this but if you want to see anything then please precisely hit me up about what you want to see and i'll be sure to try at least and yeah thanks for watching guys now enjoy the rest of the ram preview <laughs>